Manchester United look like they're on the verge of completing the signing of Morgan Schneiderlin from Southampton. Now, the reports are coming out that Manchester United are going to have agreed a £24 million move for the Southampton midfielder. And it looks like he's going to sign for Manchester United in the next week or so. Uh, it seems like we've completely moved ahead of Arsenal in the race to sign the, the midfielder. And I think that he's a real decent signing for Manchester United. Now, last season, Manchester United heavily missed Michael Carrick when he wasn't fit. And he did miss the hell of a lot of matches through injury. And he's now about, I think he's 33 years of age. So he's obviously going to get more injuries. And obviously his playing days are going to come to an end over the next couple of seasons. Now, obviously Manchester United have secured a top four place. So they should get into the Champions League group stage. Barring a, a slip up in a, in a Champions League qualification. So... There will be a hell of a lot more matches next season for Manchester United to compete in. And I do I do believe that the competition uh, with Michael Carrick will be absolutely fantastic. Because uh, there's going to be obviously uh, League Cup games as well and FA Cup games. So I believe that it will be will be great to have the pair in there fighting for, for the spot. I mean they're not the exact same player but uh, they're both placed sim similar around the midfield. So... Uh, he probably will eventually take Michael Carrick's place in that midfield. Now, I've obviously got Herrera, who uh, is who uh, plays further forward uh, in that attacking, sort of more, almost an attacking midfield role. We do have Daly Blind, who can can slip into midfield as well, but we we are a bit a bit limited on that sort of area. I mean, um, if you look at the team, I mean, one matters definitely further forward player and we, we um, do like to when we play uh, Marilyn Fellaini we do like to use him further forward more in a number 10 role almost more as as an attacker more as a forward so and that's where I'd like to see him continue to play if he does in fact get into the team um, at game, get some game time next season again uh, so I do think we're limited in that role because I don't think Daley Blint uh, is, certainly hasn't played as well as uh, as Michael Carrick did last season, we really did miss Michael Carrick when he wasn't in the team. Now, obviously, this is only only going to be our second signing of the summer. We do definitely need some more players. Bastian Schweinsteiger has been taught as, as another signing that we could be making within the next week. And it could, in fact, be a double swoop for both players. Now, I think this would be another decent sign. He's vastly experienced, played uh, won Champions Leagues. He's won the World Cup. So he's, he's really experienced played in some of the biggest games in world football so I believe he would be another great signing if we could get him around seven eight million I think that would be a snippet I know he's about 31 years of age but I think he could do a decent job for us for the next year or two uh, in the uh, in the midfield so the, the competition for places between three or four players um, will be fierce in there which which I think is, I think is great because of the amount of games we're hopefully going to play next season if we're successful which um, we're expected to be as, as Manchester United get into latter stages at least of uh, competitions. So if we're playing upwards of 50, 55 games next season, which we probably will, we're going to need um, a real strong squad. Obviously, there's still other areas of the squad. Right back still definitely needs to be worked on. We need to bring at least one more right back because Raphael probably at some point will go, though there hasn't been much talk of him leaving yet. And obviously another centre forward's needed. And at least one, I think, two centre-backs, Ramos and Otamende would be perfect. Uh, but I don't think that they're both going to come in. And possibly, obviously, still another goalkeeper. But I'm hoping that next week we can confirm these at least one of these signings, the Morgan Schneider in one. And, and maybe the, uh, the uh, Schweinsteiger one can happen as well. And then hopefully we can move on to some other targets in time for the start of pre-season. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to, to let us know your thoughts on the uh, the um, potential signing of Morgan Schneiderlin. Uh, do you think he's is the perfect uh, player to come in? Maybe as a potential um, carrot replacement or um, to, just to fit in somewhere in the midfield. Um, I mean, he's, he's still only he's only 25, so can can definitely get better um, going into his into 26, 27. I think that's when we'll really see see the best of him. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll be back again for some more reaction to any breaking news, any more signings 
um, players coming in and players leaving. And we will talk to you all again very, very soon. See ya.